Hey guys, just wanted to go through a basic overview on how professional web templates work, right? You always want to know how to build web apps, you know, you want to know how it looks like. Well, this is actually a very good template created by Vuxi on Team Forest. So the whole this whole template, uh, let's go through this. We're going to be customizing some parts of this template as well. I'm just going to show you when I run this what looks what happens right uh, npm run dev let me take a look oh npm run serve sorry npm run serve we're starting development server so it's going to come in here I'm going to go through a very quick overview on it but it gives you an idea you know, to what professional um, production ready few applications look like there are many levels, by the way. You know, there's some really solid production ones. There are really simple ones. There are very complicated ones. There's many levels to what production web applications look like. Um, let's let this load one second. Come on. Oh, okay. Damn it. Um, oh, I've changed my npm install. Okay, sorry, one second. I've got to reinstall this thing again. Um, node modules. Let me delete the node modules. Um, delete all of that. Uh, oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. Okay, let me install it again. npm install. Uh, this is going to take a while. But while we're installing, let's take a look. Okay, so as you can see here, I like the high level layout that these guys do, you know, these templates. Um, you've got a source folder, okay, which is so common, right? But in the source folder, you got a few things. You got access control list. Um, ACL's access control list. It gives you. Um, it's really for people with certain roles. You know, they cannot access certain sites, stuff like that. So this is an ACL. We won't be touching this. Let's take it out. But you got ACL right here. You got assets. Assets are your pictures and all that kind of stuff. Authentication. So this is an off service that we use. Uh, this template says when you log in, extend off new view new off service. Is authenticated local storage expiry. Um, yep, so they're using off zero over here, and basically you can configure your off zero tokens inside here. Um, off service extends event emitter, so it's a think of it as a special class just to handle authentication in your website. Login, handle authentication, local login, um, store dot commit. Okay, you gotta understand. You know, if you understand store dot commit, this is using um, Vuex actions getters setters your store um, very standard stuff over here you, you know you're gonna know this once you actually learn up Vue.js more uh, renew tokens okay log out oh, okay yeah so you see they got the full they got a full basic suite of off right log out is authenticated renew tokens local login hand authentication login so all your basic authentication authorization all authentication stuff you need to do so um, components are this is where you get all your separate components you can see a very small component here you know they're supposed to be small right you know um, another component over here sorry my computer's lagging on this yep sorry These are all your different components. Uh, we won't go too much into these. These are just separate uh, components for your application. Uh, fake DB, this is nice because they had a way to load up fake data, mock data in your database. Uh, we're going to go through this later, but the key thing you gotta look at is the index.js of the fake DB. In the data, you got the index.js. He imports all the data from card, data from table, data from table list, data user management, mock on any pass through. So what's mock? Mock is an Axios has mock adapter, mock okay, okay, interesting. So if you do not know, Axios is a library used to call API routes. Okay, HTTP. Uh you and HTTP call and all that. So what they love is they has the Axios mock adapter. So basically you can still use your same Axios call, but instead of calling an actual API, you just call this, this uh, mock data over here. So mock with any pass through. Okay, cool. 
we're just gonna know the high level idea here filters uh, okay they have an inbuilt filter to filter data and all that kind of stuff nothing much about that they got a firebase app http axios let's see so this is their basic axios stuff import axios from axios gs that file earlier you saw um, okay this is axios this is a request of jwt index.js oh there's a lot of folders here um, okay so inside here you're still using axios still using the store um, on token key token refresh init log in register user refresh token okay we're going to go through this another time yeah but this is basically um, the uh, i'm guessing it's going to be the uh, the actual request that they make to the authentication module that you saw earlier um, you can see post api of refresh token api of register uh, did we do we have an api section here just now okay this is the routes we're going to take a look at this later uh, this api off register because if you look at this acl earlier we had this um, inside the request of index oh. api off refresh token api off register now if we look at this not ACL off off service you can see we have login we have register do we have register here oh we don't have register here oh interesting something is coming from somewhere then API off register API off refresh token refresh tokens is renew tokens yeah, feeling, I have a feeling this is going to be mapping at the routing layer. Let's take a look at this. Uh, let's go to the routes. Routes at JS. They have a lot of routes, but not to worry. Um, API, let's search for API. Uh, refresh. Oh, there you go. I like Control Shift F. You know, you can search the whole database. That means search the whole code base. So this is mock on post refresh token. Axios dot post refresh token. Who is calling refresh token? What's it doing? Export default refresh token. Um. Oh, it's uh okay. You call it in a module off action. Where is this located at? Let's see. Okay. Okay. They put this in the actions section. So uh, in 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 uh, in professional Vue.js apps, you got a list of actions that can mutate the database. All these actions must be stored in a special actions section here. So in this case, all the actions for relating to off. Uh, will be inside here and so you can see login log out get Facebook stuff like that so that's what it's all about for the actions um, over here we got another action right let's say user management so we have a page I'm going to show it to you over here I think it's already installed uh, npm run serve npm run serve is to run the uh, application how do you know it's npm run serve well you go to the package JSON over package json and you can see npm run serve right there these are all your various commands you can use run serve run build lint so um right now i want to actually create a i want to add a user page and, a, and, a, and i mean add a user page and a merchant page you can see this later when i show it to you it's still building so this user page and merchant page you're going to be in the views so let's skip all this first um, this is all your different uh, store 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 is where you store all your actions getters and setters okay um, you can see here actions getters mutations and state so the actions is, is is actions that you call getters is data that you query mutation is uh, so actions will call the mutations and the mutations are the one that modify the state this is a very standard practice in uh, in um, programming I mean sorry in 
in a single page applications uh, they split this way so so this way things are very organized whatever is modifying the state of the application has to be only done through these commands over here you cannot do anything else but use these commands to get the state of the app to mo modify the state of the applications getters as well uh, getters is what you get from the state of the application and you can only call these mutations through the actions so actions are like your interface point to call the mutations and then the mutations will of course modify the state and the state is just a basic object so every single little feature in this app has its own store which is nice okay so it's a to-do store and the user management so I want to I want to deal with these two ones right now merchant management user management these are the two stores I'm going to deal with so let's go to the localhost 8080 localhost 8080 if you can see right now it's a it's a how do I know what's loaded on this page I have to go to the routes I have to go to the router JS. You can then see in the router JS all the different routes you can go to. Okay, right right now I don't have a home page in the routes, so that's why it's just showing a loading screen like this, because I actually do not have a specific component or page to load, because I did not set the route here. Every route here has like some some path. So I have to let's say I can copy this one. So. Uh, if I paste that route instead, he's going to bring me to this path and he's going to load up this specific component. And do you remember earlier we had this views, apps, user, view, view. If you look in the views folder, uh, where is the views folder? Okay. Yeah, there you go. Views folder inside apps, inside user. And if you see this, there's this thing called user view right here. So if I click on this user view, it's going to load me up this Vue.js. Well, in view, everything's a component, but in this case, views, user views, actually views mean pages. I mean, so, okay, wait, sorry, maybe I didn't load it properly. Let me see the router. User view, user edit. Oh, I see, okay, because I did not add, I did not add the last part to here, this user ID. Let me just show you the basic user list first. Apps user user list. Okay. Um, apps user. Oh wait, but it's loaded though. User list should load. Let me see what's happening here. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I think I I did the wrong thing. I did user view. My bad. It should be user list. Okay. So user list is going to load that user list page. Um, user user list user list and get the user list page so this is the user list page over here you can see the stuff going on this is the entire page this whole thing is here right uh, it's not a lot because we import a lot of components inside here you know every one of these little things anyway like then maybe this table or this filter box they're all a specific component so user money management, cell render list. So what I want to do is, you can see I have a filter box here. Next page, next page. This is all done for you by template. Very nice, you know. Uh, they even have filter. They have like sorting stuff. You can filter stuff, you know. Hey, lean. Uh, very nice. Yeah, you can filter out as well. Uh, all done in the front end. Filters are here. Status is here. So that's nice. I want to take, I want to go to the merchant page. I go to the merchant view page. When I go to the merchant view, I want to be able to see the list of stuff. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's very nice. Sorry, we already have this data here, which is very nice. Okay. So it's already over there. So I I wanted to I want to load this page with the merchant data you can see here I got a list of merchant data down here so let me just take a look uh, uh, admin panel get log yep okay okay cool so this is the merchant view page now how do I get data from here I want to show you all the list of data in the merchant page. So if I what if I'm on the merchant page, you can see here merchant merchant view two six eight. This two six eight is just a default, yeah, which is hard coded. So merchant merchant view 
I believe I can set another route if I wanted to. Um, two six nine. It should work because all the data is. I mean, there is a merchant data. Let me see. Oh no, there isn't. Okay, fine. It's two six eight then. Two six eight. And where is this merchant data two six eight coming from? Well, you can do a quick search in here. Two six eight. And you can see in the fake DB we have an ID two six eight, which shows me all the mer all the merchant data here. This is the mock database. Yeah. So um, let's just put this down here. Oh, what is this? What happened here? It was fine just now. Huh? Hmm, that's very weird. That is very weird. That looks fine earlier. User data is not defined since the reference to value. Probably I Okay, so let's go to the user data and let me show it to you, right? So if I come back to the merchant listing over here, let's fix that. Merchant view. Inside merchant view, I have this component, which was that component earlier. This AG grid table. This is the one that we want to fix. Okay. So I need the right data components components so where did I get this ag grid view from let's take a look at this ag grid view um, ag grid ag grid table this is the actual component so I gotta make it a bit smaller my pc is lagging here ag grid table if you can see ag grid view Oh, I see there's a thing here as well. Maybe we should take the AG grid table. This is a UI elements AG grid table. Can I import this AG grid table instead? You can see data, there's a data inside here. Uh, watch. Headers, country, city, last name, first name. This should this should be props actually column definitions watch computed page size current page methods mounted okay let me import this whole table inside here so if you want to import this thing import ag grid table let me see a ag grid table how do they import this user list reference ag grid table oh i see hmm this is interesting they call it as a reference ag grid table okay components let me see what's the error message here components is not defined you can see here Components not defined on instance, so we gotta fix that components first. So let's go and see where they get the components from. Oh, there you go, components. So does this file come from? Oh, it's quite interesting how they do this. Cell renderer link components. Okay, I'm gonna get components. Ag grid view. Yep, we need this. So components. Oh, well, I have components defined here. Export default components. Ag grid view. Components here. Components is components. AG grid view. Mm. Components. Oh, check that out. They have another section called components again. Wait a minute. in the data oh this is in the data though that's in the data object so they have a components folder in the data object 
and they put it inside their cell renderer link status cell renderer rectify actions okay you know what I'm gonna put it inside here so let me see inside the data object uh, components Oof, um, so I got cell renderer link paste that in there um, I don't know if we actually need this cell renderer stuff but let me just check it out cell renderer okay I don't know what's this cell renderer thing about but let's just put it inside and they have a higher level folder as well called components cell renderer okay let's import this as well now let's take a look it's recompiling you should recompile that every time you save it it recompile straight away cell renderer actions they're not found relative modules oh they're relative modules no wonder okay so relative modules meaning that uh, for the user list we have a cell renderer but for the merchant list we don't have a cell renderer yet oh wait we do though oh merchant list merchant view I gotta change this path I'm inside here I got to go to uh, I gotta go to merchant list cell renderer cell renderer action so I gotta add inside here um, merchant list let's load that up save it so now it's gonna work Come on, compile. Yep, building again. Done. Okay, no more errors this time. Let's load that up. Merchant view. Oh, no, I don't have the cell renderer stuff in there. Let's take a look. It takes a while to load this thing. Okay, it's still an error, but now I got less data, uh, less errors. See now, I need user data and pagination size. So users data. Let's take a look at the users data. What's this users data? Users data. Okay, in the computed, I need a users data. Let's go to my computed users data and pagin. I need pagination size as well. I remembered earlier. So I'm taking it from the user list. I'm putting it inside the um, merchant view. Pagination size. Yep, it should work now. It should be compiled. Let's refresh this. Merchant list. Whoa, no more errors. There you go. Let's see. But I got some other things here. But let's see what happens. Oh, come on, man. What is wrong with this thing, man? What is wrong with this thing? Why is it not loading? But just not loaded fine. I think it could be a bug on the front end here. List. Well, the list works fine. Merchant, merchant, merchant list. This list works fine, you see. It's just in the view, it doesn't load up. Oh, now it loads. <laughs> This is so weird, man. I tell you that. This is so weird. But okay, there it goes. Loaded now. Let's uh, refresh this page again. Oh my god, it better work, man. I think I, 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 I think now I know. At least it works, right? At least now it works. But it's just that there's a bug. I don't know why we had a bug just now. We have to see how to fix that bug. Uh, but well, well, I think I think could be also maybe the the thing. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Um, this is irritating sometimes list 
Okay. See, it doesn't load. Oh my goodness. Why? I don't get it. Why does it not load? Duplicate name. Duplicate namespace user management and namespace module user management. Duplicate namespace user namespace user. Okay, maybe I have duplicate stuff. Hold on. Inside the merchant view namespace user management. I'm reusing the same module at a time. Okay, I gotta change this merchant view user. I'm using this module user management store user management module user management. Okay, I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna go to the store. We're gonna call this. Um, let me see where is this error located just now. Okay, so I'm gonna add this. I'm gonna get this module instead. Merchant management. I'm gonna change all this to just merchant management because we already created it earlier. Merchant management module. Merchant management. So this is merchant management stuff. That's the merchant view. Um, now, when I come to the views, I got the merchant list. Merchant list, uh, probably the same thing. So I gotta change that module management stuff. Oh, I already changed it. Okay, already changed. Let's take a look in that view. I don't. I should not have this error anymore. Should not have that error. Unknown action type user management fetch users. Okay, in the action. User management fetch users. Inside the merchant list. Um, fetch users. There you go. I need to be calling this as uh, merchant management. Fetch merchants. I gotta register the module as well. Um, merchant management. This merchant management thing is interesting. You register a module. Okay, we have to see what this register module thing does. But uh, merchant management inside. I gotta go inside the merchant management stuff. Uh, merchant management. Module merchant management, okay. Merchant management state, merchant management actions, getters, setters. Inside here, I need to find fetch merchants, remove merchant, okay. Export default, merchant management mutation, set users. There you go. Let's call it set merchants. Merchant management, set merchants. Uh, this is the merchants, but I need to set my actions in this. Where's my actions? Actions. Fetch merchant, set merchants. There you go. Fetch merchant, fetch merchants. Fetch merchant access dot get. Uh, module merchant management. Oh, this is just basically me registering everything. Ah, you registered a merchant management. Okay, namespace true state mutant. Let me see my getters. I have nothing in my getters. Okay, I'm just gonna get the user management getters. Oh, there's nothing in there. Huh. How do you get data then if you don't have a getter? These are your general actions in your state. Okay. Actions. Let me see. Actions. Fetch users. Axios. Get. Oh, everything is from the Axios side. I see. Fetch. 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 They don't have. They don't use a getter inside here. 
Okay, fine. Let's leave it out for a moment. Um, API merchant management merchants merchant ID. So if I go to my store data fake DB. Uh, API merchant management merchants inside the mock. Look inside the mock. Index. Where do you get this again? Uh, slash API slash apps. Mock dot on get. I see inside the fake db apps data calendar so fake db apps email to do chat calendar uh, this is the email actions take it out look at the mock data again the mock data mock js fake db apps Merchant management, user management, index.js. Let's see this. So, this is the full data. But where do you actually get this mock? Users actions, fetch users, API user management users. Where is this defined? Mock dot on get. Oh, I see it's inside the index by itself. Okay, so inside here as well, we specify, okay, user management. So here I got to specify the merchant management. Merchant management merchants. Merchants, data.stringify data.merchants. So where does this mean? Fetch single user details. Uh, I'm going to change this to merchants merchant wait is it called merchant or merchants user yeah so merchant api merchant management merchant merchant so merchants that's that so i need to change the data so not users anymore but to merchants right see some object here merchants save that uh, then I do do I still have any users inside? Let me check for the word user. Data dot users. So it should be data dot merchants. Data dot merchants. Merchant ID should be called merchant ID. Because I'm inside the merchant section. Merchant ID data dot merchants. Data dot merchants. Data dot merchants dot I need to change this as well. ID change that as well merchant ID yep that's done not not get data mock not get merchants merchants okay so in my merchant list page I'm going to do a merchant management fetch merchants well I should have to fetch Let's go to the so this is basically where I, this is like my mock data. Uh, I have to go back to my merchant management section. Uh, merchant management actions, and I can do the match here. API merchant management merchants. Yeah, we got that right here. And I got another one. API merchant management merchant slash merchant ID. Um, it's it's gonna be this as well. Oh, this is single user. Sorry, 
so merchant management request i get the merchant id inside here last so he gets the id from this this get over here and then he returns me the merchant data uh, this is get all the merchants over here all the merchants and then i return the data so that's fetch merchants that's fetch merchant and remove record is access.delete there you go on delete axios.delete mm. it's calling this remove record oh remove record is being specified axios on delete merchant management merchant merchant id mock.on delete oh so okay so axios has a for axios at the moment you call delete he has an automatic thing called on delete mock let's look at the mock we should say something this on delete and on get let's look at this mock 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 where's the mock mock js mock adapter axios yeah i i'm willing to bet this mock Ax axios mock adapter has this thing called on delete um and stuff like that let's look at axios mock adapter let's find it for on delete on get there you go on get on post so he, we have all these various methods that you can use actually on any i bet he has a full list of them yeah so anyways that's how it works so okay let's look back at this thing so we're almost there we're almost getting it no errors just gonna fix up some stuff. Um, store off merchant management modified. Rehashing stuff. Let's take a look. Refresh the whole page. Let's see. Make sure no errors. Duplicate routes. App user list. App merchant merchant list. So I still have an app user list in my merchant merchant list. Um, let's see, where's the routes user? Search for the word user. Oh, there you go. Page ID, page user list. Page user list. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, we should change this to uh, page merchant list merchant list page merchant list page so that's the merchant list page I can change that uh, and also I need to change user list filters user list filters merchants list filters done <coughs> um, okay this should be fine let me refresh this page oh how is how it is. let's reload that again let's see what happens apps merchant merchant list going to that route oh wow no more errors that's cool oh wait there you go users of undefined merchant merchant list okay so we have a property user still in here somewhere we should not have the word users anymore let's take out all these words users users that get data ran users data well let's call it um, let's just replace this with uh, merchants data okay that's one uh, any more users inside here users management but merchant oh wait let's take a look and let's see was it users or user user management merchant management dot merchants save that any more users no more users yay there's no more users inside here there's no more users so it all should be good let's refresh this 
Now should everything be word merchants over here? Let's see, let's see. By the way, this is a really good way to learn. Understand the production application, modify it. You know, you learn a lot. No more errors. Come on. Oh, yes. Ah, length of undefined. Okay. Okay. So basically, we're not we're we're not getting any more data from the back end. So we have to fix that. Length. Let's see where's the length. Okay, merchants data dot length. Let's go to merchants data. We're not getting any more uh, merchants data. This dot state dot merchant management dot merchants. This dot store dot state. Merchant management dot merchants. Okay, let's see on mounted. On created merchant management. This dot dispatch fetch merchants. So let's look at the fetch merchants. Uh, fetch merchants. Merchant management. Fake DB. Merchant management. JS. Fetch merchants. Let's look at the actions. Fetch merchants. Yep. API merchant management merchants. So API merchant management right at the bottom API merchant management merchants JSON not stringify data dot merchants reverse. This should be correct because let's make sure there's no more users here. Data dot oh there you go. Data dot Merchants. Uh, any more users? Oh, we have another one. Merchants. API merchant management. Let's change that to oh, wait. Uh, API merchant management. Merchant management. So was it user or user merchant? Okay, there's no okay, there's no more users. Permission users. Okay, this is the in-depth stuff where we were not touching this. Um yep, everything looks fine here. Inside merchant management. Um uh, merchant management getters, so there's no getters. Mutation set merchants state dot merchants dot fine state dot merchants dot fine merchants yep actions API merchant management there's no more users yep no more users merchant management index dot js state merchant management dot get okay uh should be much better now let's take a look. Okay, one thing we can do is we can go to the Vue.js console. Where's our Vue.js console here? Oh, okay, okay. Okay, my friend, we're gonna take a look at this. User management still calling user management. So weird. But this list should work actually. No length of undefined. Okay, I need my UX stuff here. Hold on. Local host. Um, you see this little icon here? This is a Vue.js icon. We can actually open the Vue dev tools so and can take a look at stuff inspect the dev tools you know you can see what's happening actually ah where is it where is it where is it why i cannot click it this page is a view just open dev tools and lock in the view panel yes where is view oh there you go so we can see the whole state of application through this view dev tools very useful you got to get it route of view merchant man we can look at the state view x okay 
there you go merchant management set merchants look so we, we know we called we know that this stuff was we know that this was called this set merchants was called okay merchant management set merchants was called with a payload of stuff we know that okay so we have a merchant management now we're loading the state we have all this stuff in here let's see what happens oh it took a while didn't it if i click back out here and i click back again Merchant management dot set merchants, but where's the get merchants? I want to get stuff. Okay, look at this picture. Yeah, okay, remember this. Now, look if I go to the user side and I go to user list, you see all the stuff here. User management set users. Oh, hmm, it works. It didn't call anything else. Let me see the events. Yes, reach and okay. These are just events. Register module merchant management options undefined. Mm, state start object e commerce. Oh, that's a lot of crap. This is the active one, user management, set users, path, array, user management, state, active user. So the whole, the whole user object contains of all this stuff. What the heck? What is merchant management doing in there? Oh, it's everything in there. I have merchants. Where's my users? this this is a bit too lag refresh this whole page okay recording base state we know toggles active register more user management user map dot set users oh it's called merchant management Why is this inside here? I don't get it. Uh, oh, do I replace something? User management set users. Why is merchant management here? User management dot set users. Merchant management object merchants. Look at the console. No errors in here. Duplicate routes name for definition. App user list. App user list path merchant merchant list. Oh, I should change that. App user list. Oh, I see. App merchant list. App merchant list. Router default. What's the router default actually? Oh, what the heck is that? So weird. Merchant view. This dot router dot push. App merchant list. Merchant view, okay, no, we're not using that. User view, yes, user view is correct. User list, okay. Um, set users, what's the problem? Value of merchant, not string. Value of merchant, merchant is not a string. This is 
loading the what path is this? I'm loading the user list page. User list dot view. Um, shouldn't be anything inside here. There's no merchant inside here. renderer actions what is this oh I see delete record oh this is each cell that's some action cell renderer link return app user view cell renderer status cell renderer verify okay status active block this is fine Cell renderer link. This should be changed to merchant. Merchant view. Okay, Use, there's no more user inside here. Cell renderer actions. Rather push. Change all of that user to merchant done um, merchant list we just want this to load right we just want this damn thing to load so let's see ag grid components grid table merchants data why is merchants data blank huh? computer let's go to merchants data this dot store dot state dot merchant management. Let's console log the store, shall we? Let's see. This dot store dot state merchant management dot merchants. Merchant management dot merchants. Yeah, we have it here. Merchant management list. It should load now. Come on. Load. Why is this length of undefined? This property length of undefined. We have a few length going on here. Merchants data dot length, merchants data dot length, merchants data. Merchants data is undefined. Let's see. Okay, let's see this. Let's see this thing. View set data merchant management this dot store dot state dot merchant management did I put merchant management or computed this dot store dot state dot merchant management dot merchants Huh. Oh my goodness, wrong spelling. Merchants. Oh my goodness. Okay. So now when you come back here to the console, you're going to refresh this whole thing. And it's going to work. Come on, load up. Yep. Yep. Oh, let's see this. Come on. Waiting for signal. Takes a while. Yay, there you go. No more errors. I don't think so. Booyah. We got the full data. And now these two data are completely decoupled and separate. Um, cool guys, so I think you get the gist of it. I'm I'm gonna stop the video here, but next step what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to com customize all this data to fit the merchant data. And what we want to do in the merchant view page is view the merchant list. And I think this should work as well. Let's see. Merchant view. Oh, merchant view. Okay, we got our oh, fetch user. There you go. In the merchant view, uh, make this a quick change. Merchant view. We got probably fetch user here. There you go. We should change this to merchant management. Fetch merchant. 
fetch merchant then inside here you don't have the user no more user id it's going to be called merchant id we changed the merchant id remember earlier we changed it to merchant id v if user underscore data let's change this to v if um, id user okay you know what let's leave this first because user data i mean, I mean let's see what's happening over here Um, user address. I think these are all fixed in the in the data, so I cannot change this yet because this was hard coded in the actual data. But let's see any other merchant management dot register store dot register module user management. Oh, wrong one. Oh my goodness. Merchant manager module merchant management is registered. This dot route. This dot store. This dot dot rest. This dot underscore user data. Okay, this user data, I believe, is still being used, yeah. So that's why um, user underscore data. You see in the... It's still being used here, right here. Unless unless I change this user data, user data, and the user view. Let me see, is that merchant data? Merchant, no, there's no such thing as merchant data, yeah. So it's all in the, mer it's all the user data for now. So I will have to fix, we have to change all this to merchant data. In the merchant view, merchant edit user view. Wait, let me see. Uh, user data, user edit, um, this dot user data, where is this located? User data, user data. Oh, user data is here, okay. Oh, I think we can change this. Let me see. Um, user data. How is that user data being populated? Right, we want to take a look. How is that user data being populated? Um, merchants management. We can see, there you go. This dot user data equals rest dot data. Um, so user data comes from here. So I believe we can change this. Yes, we can because rest.data is coming from here, response.data. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna change this. This, this I think this works. Um, merchant underscore data. Yep, I think it's gonna work. So that's that. Um, this dot response for, for this dot user not found equals true. Let me see where is this located. User not found. Um, merchant underscore not underscore found yeah we can use that as well that's fine that is fine um, user data page user list uh, okay we can change this page merchant list that's fine, we can change that. Uh, user data. Merchant data. Save that. Username, okay, this one all we have to, this one always still be fixed. Users data um, state, nope, this is gonna be called merchant data. Oh wait, no, sorry, I gotta change this to wait. Uh, control shift all. Merchants data. Okay, done. User management. Um, merchants management. Dot merchants. Dot merchants. Okay, what else is in there? User address. Yeah, we're gonna fix that first. This dot merchant data dot username. Yeah, we're gonna have this first. Um, created. Any more users? Users page user view page merchant view. Yeah, this was merchant view. Merchant view. This is gonna be called merchant view from now on. This is the merchant merchant view page. Okay, done. Um, title as well. Merchant not found, of course. Uh, 
then uh, we're gonna come over here and then uh, let's take this as merchant record okay that's done let's take a look now um, it's recompiling done merchant not found merchant not found record ID ah, okay cool at least now we know that <laughs> there's no more error and it loads that whole page but merchant view 268 let's see uh, merchant record not found merchant ID merchant ID 268 well let's see what it's doing here right uh, merchant record merchant active sync ID page user v alert danger merchant not found um, spam check merchant list or users so you see if merchant data is available then render all this if not always just render this alert box right but if the merchant data is available then render this um, let's see let's see let's see v alert page user view active sync okay, I, I have no idea what this does actually merchant not found false oh there you go if merchant not found is true then well we gotta render that so let's see over here this does not just fetch merchant not fetch merchant merchant id um, this dot dot perms dot merchant id this dot route dot params dot merchant idea okay this this route params thing i think we gotta fix that uh in the route section because uh, in the route where's the routing router 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 dot js merchant id this dot route dot params dot merchant id merchant well let's see user id okay oh there you go see user id in the user edit merchant view which is our view we're on now is called user id we gotta change this to merchant id then it's gonna work there you go over here as well merchant edit we're gonna change it to merchant basically everything that is merchant related should be merchant anything is user related should be user related merchant id done so we change that route uh, merchant id merchant id merchant list yep okay now it's going to be correct refresh the whole page uh, it's coming here let's check this out okay there you go at least it's working let's see booyah oh my goodness bro why are you like this I don't get this I don't get this thing my goodness what is it wrong with that thing it was working earlier man merchant view yeah uh, I I think if the page just reloads I guess it causes a bug or something okay, I'm gonna take out this permission social link information it, this this thing shouldn't be causing problems man I don't get this thing I don't want it to cause problems okay this merchant edit same thing i gotta go to the merchant edit page merchant edit edit merchant edit page inside the merchant edit yeah probably got a lot of user stuff in there as well yeah all the user stuff i gotta change this thing merchant edit uh, active sync user not found it's going to call this as merchants not found uh, user id is going to be called merchant id uh, page user list merchant list v if user data so we're going to change this to v if merchant data oh shit oh damn it i wasn't changing all of them merchant data
merchant edit account tab. Let's change this to merchant edit. Merchant edit account tab. That's that. Um, okay. This is going to be user edit type information. going to be merchant edit. edit type information last one is tab social let's change that merchant edit tab social done module user management we're going to change this to module merchant management and we're going to change this from user management to oh it's not users in Merchant icon user user type account. No, no, I can't change that. I have to just change this first. Uh, oh, wait, you know what? I'm just going to change this. Merchant management. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. User fetch user data. It's going to be called fetch. Fetch. Was it caps just now? Oh, fetch. Fetch underscore merchant underscore data. Fetch underscore merchant underscore data. F user management. Nope, we gotta change this to. Merchant management and then fetch merchants. Fetch merchant done. Merchant data rest, merchant data not found. Yep. Module merchant management is registered. No more users. Okay, cool. So this is the edit page. Um, this should work. Oh, jeez. Oh, wrong merchant merchant what is wrong with this store user management module module merchant at store merchant management Merchant module merchant management. Did I wrong spelling this or something? Uh, I'm going to check the merchant view. I'm just going to copy that, that that same spelling there. Where was that spelling? Come on, where are we? Uh, up here. There you go. I'm going to copy this. I'm lazy to look at it. Let's see where's the spelling. Oh, it's the same spelling. Oh, hey, it's the same spelling. Oh, jeez, I don't get it. I don't get it, but I'm just going to use this. Okay, yep, yep. That's fine. Let's reload this thing. Oh, let's see it. Let's see it. Mm, come on. Oh, 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 there you go. Field fetch merchant data. <laughs> Merchanter fetch. This dot fetch merchant data. So when you call this dot fetch merchant data, it calls this function. You know, the methods call each other, you know. Let's see the refresh. Yeah, I think it's no more errors. Come on, load. Do 
are so damn slow. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to go back here. Okay, the stuff, but I know user tab element, you register, user edit tab count. Oh, jeez. User edit. What is this? User edit tab accounts. User edit tab accounts. Oh, jeez. I call it merchant edit tab account. Oh, there's no such component. Oh, it's here though. Okay, okay. Okay, I get you. I get you. I get you. It's going to be merchant edit tab account. Yeah, I'm going to change all this. Merchant edit tab accounts. This one as well. Merchant edit tab information. And finally, merchant tab social class. Because you can see all the files are here. So I just want to import all these guys, put it over here. Okay, but no data is being shown because user edit tab. Oh jeez, user edit tab accounts. Do you guys have a user here? No, I don't have any more. Merchant edit tab account. Where's the error here? Unknown custom element. Merchant edit user edit tab count in merchant edit dot view merchant edit unknown custom element. No, I don't have that already unless in the main. What was it called? User edit. I don't have such a thing anymore. see this okay no well no more errors for now let's see this thing tends to load errors later oh there you go yay yes 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 so cool merchant view it's gonna be here okay oh my goodness oh my goodness look at that lag oh my goodness ah you know what I have feeling this thing loads too slow so, so he doesn't load in time when he calls the data he he, the, he loads this thing first before data is being called i'm irritated by that thing um, yeah i see i think he's doing something here to to like make sure data is loaded first before this is called um, yeah i see i okay now what we're gonna fix that later anyways cool Awesome. Thanks, guys. I think uh, that's all for today. Cheers.